Hello everybody, uh, today's tutorial is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be modeling uh, this bridge. Uh, this is the project uh, that is designed by Santiago Calatrava and uh, it's called Samuel Beckett Bridge. Uh, it's located in Dublin in Ireland. So I wanted to show you the techniques that we can use to, to model this bridge in Rhino since uh, we haven't done this kind of uh, geometry there. So uh, I thought it would be interesting to show you this uh, simple concepts you can use uh, to model the structure like this. So we're not going to be modeling it completely uh, in full detail, but we're going to be modeling, for example, the roads, this uh, post uh, that it's standing on, then this big uh, big column there uh, on it with the, with the wires that are actually uh, holding it in place. So. Uh, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to just drag and drop uh, this image into the viewport and let's start with just uh, dragging it like this and I'm going to uh, lock it in place but first let's let's scale it up a little bit more to, to see it better like this. Okay and then uh, we can lower the transparency a little bit I uh, can go here to material and transparency like so and let's lock it in place. So now uh, the process is going to be uh, that I'm going to basically trace trace some lines that I see here and uh, these lines will enable me to focus on the on the structure later on. So I'm just gonna trace over all the lines that I see here in the viewport uh, like this uh, then we're going to do the same thing here for the top or actually we can just uh, copy this one like so uh, let's do the same process for the top And here I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to cl click a couple of times so I get that transition. Of course we can later modify this. Then I'm going to use a straight line here and again interpolated line here. So we come until here, then we stop the line, then let's just create one small line like this and let's trim this area here. We can also create a circle like so and uh, now we have we have the base. Uh, we also need to create this bottom line so I'm just gonna try to see if we need to modify some of these like this. And then you don't need this one. Maybe this one needs to be a little bit bigger. All right. And uh, we also need to, of course, create uh, this post. But I'm not sure if this is the uh, completely straight. So let's let's do our best to estimate the, the shape here. Like so. Let's bring this inward. And now we can mirror it on the other side. And let's move it in. Now let's create a line to connect it. So this is just for the reference purposes. How uh, you can see here that there is a small notch that we can use. And let's mirror that around. All right. Uh, so we can come back uh, to this a little bit later. Now let's focus on creating this this wiring. So I'm gonna follow these uh, as close as I can. We're aiming for the middle. So now we're going to create 
uh, only like the skeleton from the lines and later on we're going to modify these wires uh, and we're actually going to give them uh, thickness uh, based on uh, based on the images we have All right, so once we have these uh, in place, we can also create uh, the wires here on the side. Let's go until there. And actually it will be the same on the other side. So I'm not gonna create two lines. I'm just going to create uh, this shape here that I see. And let's do, again, uh, this kind of shape here. I'm going to trim this area here and create one straight line like this. And I'm going to use extend to extend these until there and then trim it out. Here we need one more line there. something on this and let's uh, let's see what we're going to get from there in 3d and if it looks like something that we can work with we're gonna continue from there so uh, yeah at this point let's let's flip this image okay so I'm going to unlock this image, I'm going to hide it and now I have something to work with and then I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm going to check this geometry here on these images and verify things that we need to modify and things that we need to adjust. Alright, so you can see here that these elements are a little bit uh, going to the outside here and here. So this means that uh, they're not going to be completely straight uh, as here. So uh, we also need to achieve that. So uh, we're going to uh, first create uh, this one element. I'm gonna extend these guys a little bit like this. Uh, and I'm gonna isolate this. And and then let's just create it uh, something like this. We're gonna go to the top. Uh, however, we're going to use here the project option. That's very important. Uh, I'm gonna say bent. And now we're just gonna go from here so here let's say let's go to the uh, perspective and let's just approximately get that bent nice and, and easy as we want it so something like this so you can see that uh, we got pretty close to the to the actual bend here and we're going to work with that for now so uh, that's gonna be one side and of course there needs to be two of them so we're gonna put one on both sides uh, and uh, we need to create uh, the road so I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use this line here and first I'm going to create let's say a midpoint between these two now we can uh, turn off the project command and uh, I'm going to use the midpoint here and now what we can do basically is uh, just connect these two lines. So I'm gonna say a loft and uh, we have we have this one. That will be our road. So now I'm just gonna test to see if, uh, if this is gonna be too, too thin or too thick. I'm gonna search for the image. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, I think this is all right. This is alright because uh, this is actually going to be from here, something like this. Okay, and uh, now let's let's try to see 
how we can create this big uh, big column here in the middle let's go with curve boolean let's select this guy and let's bring it to the middle there it is let's do planar surface and I'm gonna use offset surface in both directions uh, let's say two just to see if that's that's good enough again I'm gonna create see if the proportions are right so I think maybe it should be a little bit less so I'm just gonna use this scaling tool here like so okay so we have this hole let's drill it with boolean difference and uh, let's see what else we can do here you can see that uh, it actually has some profile it's not completely uh, completely straight it's not uh, so uh, the way that we can do this is by simply using uh, using something called chamfer tool so I'm gonna say chamfer and here uh, let's say distance of 0 0.2 and let's see how this will go okay too small we can try it one more time with bigger radius okay so this seems all right and let's do one more time with these two and you're getting that result already you can see and if this is not working don't worry we can just fix it we can say extract surface and now we can basically either use patch or we can use planet surface let's see what's what's easier so let's try plan surface doesn't work then you can say duplicate edge join it and you can say patch and put here 55 five is enough but make sure to put trim there it is and i'm going to just join them all together now join And it's closed and on this side as well let's try extract surface and let's use let's use patch okay without this one duplicate edge join patch and there you go join and that's that's our main uh, our main structure here of course we need to do extrude surface so we're gonna extend it below like this and maybe we will do a little bit let me see if there is details no there is, doesn't seem there is details there okay so uh, the next thing would be to create uh, to create this uh, wiring all around and to create a thickness so uh, we can just uh, use this and go a little bit down like this that should be able to create a road and uh, again if the proportions are not right uh, we can modify them but I think for now we're on the right track uh, let's go again and let's create this uh, wiring lines now so I'm gonna use this line and basically I'm gonna copy it uh, let's say from I'm just gonna copy it a little bit until here like this and I'm gonna use this other side to bring it here something like this and I'm gonna check to see how it all connects so there is like three three uh, detailed connections there so we can improvise those we can create something like for example I can say extract Isaac curve and I'm gonna get one here but I actually don't think that they are there I think they're straight or no 
Yeah, let's keep them like this. So this is the one and let's do another one. And let's do another one. And let's do another one. So keep in mind that this is not completely correct in terms of uh, precision. I'm gonna say extract ISO curve again and I'm gonna switch or actually, yeah, it's fine. Let's go with this. So uh, basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna extract this surface for a second. I'm gonna copy it and copy it in place. I have two of these surfaces now and I'm gonna hide this one for, for uh, for a second and I'm going to use split to split the surface in a couple of segments and delete the ones that I don't need. So now uh, I'm going to use gumball alignment to the object like so and I'm going to use a shift to scale it in a little bit like this. I'm going to use the same thing here. Just gonna use shift and scale it in a little bit. And one more time, shift and scale it in a little bit. And those would be our uh, detailed connections there. So I'm gonna uncover uh, the rest and you see what we got there. So uh, let's say that uh, those would be enough. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna say bring here Let's create the middle point, for example, this would be the mid middle point here. So I'm going to connect this point with this point here. Uh, and uh, then we can use the same thing, the same process for the rest of them. It's going to be this one and this one. Okay. All right, so let's move on. So now I'm going to use this. And uh, let's go with gumball alignment to the world. I'm gonna hide this guy, and uh, here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy it two times, one time and second time, something like this. And let's take uh, let's take this line, and let's move it here in the position, and this guy as well. And once we have this, uh, we can simply use pipe command, put the radius to something like 0 0.25. Yeah, I think this is fine. And of course, uh, let's now mirror these guys on the other side and let's continue on. So I'm gonna say extract, I'm gonna say extract ISO curve. I'm gonna say I need this one and let's say this one. So uh, I just want to use uh, this middle area for the rest of the position for these uh, lines, like you see here in the image. So uh, let's uh, let's conclude that with one more time extrude and let's toggle direction this time. Let's come until here and I guess until here that should be fine and I'm gonna just say trim and I'm gonna trim the rest of these lines I just need the middle one there it is gonna join it I'm gonna unhide my my road here and and I'm gonna say extract surface and I'm gonna say split and I have this area that uh, I know that uh, we're gonna use for for our positioning. So before that, let's just quickly go one more time. Extrude ISO curve, and let's select maybe this area here and this area here, and one more time, something like this. And I'm going to mirror it now in the middle, like so. So let's just divide it as well. So I'm gonna say extract uh, ISO curve and here let's say that this is going to be enough 
and I'm gonna mirror it around. All right. So for now, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hide this first. I'm gonna join this and hide it, and uh, I'm gonna trim things that I need. This one and this one, like so. There it is. And now this will be my fence. So I'm not gonna create any kind of uh, uh, detailed fence. It's just gonna be a small one just to show you how, how you can do it. You can see offset surface for the outside and you can say let's say 0 0.15, something like this. And now we have uh, the connections here. So let's take all of these uh, let's take all of these uh, lines here and let's move them. Let's copy them in place and let's position them uh, in the middle like this. And that's uh, that's uh, all we need. And uh, for example, you can uh, you can use now let's use pipe of course and let's put the radius. I think that's that was the one that we used before. Yep. So let's go to the side and uh, let's uh, let's isolate maybe these guys uh, with this wiring. And let's go to the side view. Let's go F10. And now I'm just gonna slightly extend this all the way up here. Doesn't matter if it's if it's not. Matching, I'm gonna use this line here as a cut curve. So I'm going to say uh, trim and I'm gonna cut all of them here. There it is. And now let's uncover maybe, now let's uncover this, this element there. And again, let's go to the side view and let's see how we can create this. So basically, I'm just gonna draw. Uh, I'm gonna draw a box uh, that we're gonna use. And if you wish to make it more detailed, feel free to do so and to practice. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna create something very simple so that uh, you get the idea of how how you can do this on your own. So I'm gonna use rotation here. Let's see. It will put it like this. Gumble alignment to the object, and I can of course here scale it if I want. Um, I can rotate it to get it perfectly there in that position. Uh, maybe I can move this guy around to get that shape to be as close as possible to it. However, probably there is uh, there is much more details than this. I'm sure. So, all right, so I'm gonna select all of these uh, guys and I'm gonna say set point. I'm gonna bring them to the same Y direction just in case. And let's press uh, also points to get them also on the same Z axis. Once we have that, uh, I can do curve boolean, can select them and have this as my initial shape. Uh, and then I'm gonna delete the rest and I'm just gonna use this guy and let's just bring it back to the center let's see here and you can see the location and from this part you can use <coughs> offset surface sorry and let's do both sides and that should be our our element there. So now let's go to this to the side view again. And what you can do from here, you can simply uh, use copy and you can follow basically follow this curve. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And again, you don't need to follow this line, but I suggest that you do because it's gonna uh, it's gonna fit much nicer into the geometry. So once once that is done. We're going to continue to create uh, that bottom element uh, of our bridge. All 
All right, so once that is done, uh, let's take all of these guys. Uh, you can see that they are um, all around, they're not all, all in the same position. So we can easily fix that by selecting all of them. And you can use here the alignment tool. You can use uh, align uh, vertical centers, sorry, align horizontal centers. And uh, we can just place them here in the middle. There it is. Can delete this. And now uh, we have our structure on both sides. And uh, we just need to finish up with, uh, with our uh, bottom area there. So let's uncover the image. Let's see how this looks like. You can see here it seems like a big round uh, round uh, column there holding it. And then you can see how the road is actually having like one big rib in the middle and then it's going down. So let's try to, to achieve that as well. So first, I'm going to create the center. I'm gonna use this center line, this curve. I'm going to bring it down. And I'm going to use maybe some offset. Let's copy it maybe on this side and then mirror it on the other. Okay. And uh, what I can do here is I can simply go like this. And that should create those ribs. However, let's see how deep, deep we should go. So this is the border. So maybe I think this is too big. Let's bring it up a little bit. Let's go up. So more like this, something like this. That should be fine. So we can simply use here a sweep two. Sweep two. And we can say this is the first rail. This is the second rail. And this is our section. And you can see the result we got. And uh, that should be enough to create a geometry. And now let's see the position of that uh, middle element. So we can say it's, it's here. So what we can do here, uh, we can use this. Let's isolate it. Let's go to the front view. And uh, let's create something that is straight. We don't want to have any uh, any elements that are not straight, like this one. And this is the middle, I think. All right. Here, let's create one single line. Let's do trim. And let's extend it until here, or use fillet. There it is. And here we can basically just use join and again. And in addition to that, we can maybe play around with these ones. I'm not sure how they will end up at the bottom, but something like this. And at that point, we can just cut it, cut it in the middle. All right, so let's create one line here just to see how long this is. So this is going to be the middle and let's trim it. And that should be enough to create our geometry. Let's put it in the position here. So I'm going to set point Y direction, put it here. So I'm going to bring it down. Something like this. And let's use revolve. That's our, that's our thing. Uh, we can of course extend it, extrude surface a little bit. And that should be fine. So yeah, if you want, you can uh, later extend it further down. 
but uh, for now this uh, this would, would would do. So we'll say select curves. I'm gonna hide them, and uh, this is going to be our bridge. Again, I didn't do the details, didn't do the railing, but uh, I'll leave this up to you. And if you want to make it more detailed, please feel free. Or if you have any questions, also make sure to ask in the comments below. I hope that you like this tutorial. And uh, in addition to this tutorial, I have something uh, that I want to show you today. Uh, if uh, this is something that you're interested in, if you want to learn Rhino, if you uh, need uh, tutoring or if you need personal coaching, if you need somebody to ask questions or if you want to have uh, the training that uh, really goes in depth, uh, feel free to contact me uh, on the first link in the description. Uh, there's a, a link where you can go to schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one call with me. And during this call, we will go through uh, your current situation in Rhino and the problems you're having. And if it sounds like uh, we're a good fit, uh, there is something that I can offer you at the end of this call. So uh, if you're interested in that, please uh, click on the first link in the description and it will take you to this page where you have uh, the ability to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me that will be for 45 minutes where we'll talk about uh, this. And then uh, after you schedule the call, please also fill out this survey. And uh, after that is done, uh, I will call you at the scheduled time. So that will be all for today. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope to speak to you soon.